Hey guys, my name is Lenny and this is my Java drawing tutorial. Um, I have met few people asking me on how to start programming or how to animate stuff. So I figured I might start a series of um, tutorial videos on how to draw, animate or so on. Um, the goal of that will be some kind of application, um, it might be a game or simple animation and it's gonna be just for the educational purposes. Um, first of all, I want to show you what's the target of this tutorial. It's um, pretty simple, we are gonna draw some sort of object on a J panel. Um, this is an, exa an example of what we are gonna do. So let's get to it. We are gonna start by creating a new project. Let's call it drawing, doesn't matter. Um, right off the bat we are gonna use, we are gonna actually extend the J panel class that will save us some time and will enable us to make the real simple and fast. I'm gonna use the hotkey Ctrl Shift I to fix the imports. And then I'm gonna override the paint component method to draw our own stuff. Um, this is the drawing part. We want to we might want to set a different color for the drawing. Let's set it to blue. I like blue better than red. And let's make a hmm, fill rectangle. This is the X um, position, Y position, um, width and height. This um, makes it a square and to display the drawing we need to create a new J-frame. We are going to use the string constructor to set the title of the window. Um, the title meaning like this title. Again, Ctrl Shift I to fix the imports. Um, we definitely want to add the J panel with the drawing. So we're gonna add the component. Um, then we are gonna set the size of the window we are making. Let's make it fairly big. And we want to set the default close operation as well. So when we close the uh, application window, the application terminates and it's not still going like, well, it's pretty simple and self-explanatory. Um, exit on close. And we need to display the frame as well. It's usually wise to leave the set visible command at the end as um, you don't really want to display anything before all the changes are made especially the size and stuff being added to it and in my opinion this should work um, let's see it okay I think I've 
forgotten something. Um, I think I have forgotten a constructor. Hotkey, well, shortcut, alt insert. Let's add this one, empty. Nope, that wasn't it. What did I forgot? Um, we have created a new frame. We have added the drawing. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm missing. It <laughs> should really work. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stop the. I'm gonna pause the video, the recording, and I'm gonna see where's the mistake. Um, there actually was no mistake. I just ran the project one more time and it worked. Um, so be patient with NetBeans. Um. It might be sometimes a little bit magical. So uh, we have created a frame, which is um, 500 by 500. We have uh, set the title. Um, we have added the J panel that's like filling. And we have painted on it a um, blue square. That's about it and in the next tutorial we are gonna learn how to move the square. See you guys next time. Oh also when I closed it it stopped the application from um, running so that's why we have added this line. If you don't do it you might end up with the application still running. And now I can say see ya. <laughs>